all in this together, Mr. Morgan. I know you know that. Boy. Bye in Elica. Okay, let's go. I was just singing that. I don't know. Oh, our next mission is no other than Jun Zimothrin and Charles, the Indian, I think. Right? I don't know. But, um, I heard some. Should've known, Craig. But, um, I'm probably going to be an outlaw in this game. You know, like, if you want in every place and all that. Probably gonna Come on, mate. Oh! Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry for killing you, though. Bro, I don't want to kill you. Oh, wait, huh? No! This is difficult. So annoying, all this money, whatever. Doesn't matter, I can make the all back. Just from one robbery. But yeah, I'm probably gonna be an outlaw and all like robbing shops and all that. So that's that's gonna be fun. Probably not gonna be the good person in this game. Because I know you can either be a good person in the game or you can be a bad person being like an outlaw. So we are going to be an outlaw. Because I'm not dealing with all... I don't really want to go through the game like... Um... Hello, good sir. And... No, I want to say... Give me your money, good sir. And... Literally, I don't want to do all that, um... Being nice and all that. No, that's, that's not the way... Okay, of Arthur Morgan. I'm joking, it is. But who knows. Let's just get up here. Let's see what this is about. Wish one nine and eight. Ooh. What is going on up, hey? Stop on by for a moment. Hmm? The name's William. Don't know who you are. Arthur, you familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all, to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. Not yours to have. Stop it! That's mine, I see it. I think Listen, we've seen mister, enough of each other for one lifetime. Trouble. That's well and good. But you've already caused me enough. Please, just move on. 
I see it. Steady there. I'll scare away my dinner. <laughs> Tracks are real fresh. Well, you chose a fair spot. Yes, I know where you are. Got him! Did you see that? Perfect! What the hell? That was my kill! Let's get the... Let's go, boy. Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. I can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Shaw doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Ah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. Now let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. 
If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily tort again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, all the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. Find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. From what folks say, eh? you had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. They're left here, towards Rhodes. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's excessive. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> You know, my dad always used to say... Not the... No, not this again. Fine! Damn you three! Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. So, we blocked the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Finish up here. Hey. Join us on board. Go on. Get over Buster. there. All yours, Captain. Well, go on ahead. Don't be shy. People like you make Please. me sick. Please. 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 Please.
Pay me what you got, mister. You won't get hurt. God damn it. Oh, no. Sick is better than dead, lady. And I'm Thank losing you. my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says so this can be Ladies over. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. You want to me? No. You go ahead and look for the baggage car. Tough guy, huh? Good job. You sure about Bye, that? Please, come on! Stop. Everything you got. Money. Valuables. Now, we ain't leaving until this bag's full. Empty your you won't get a mister. damn cent from me on Let me hand it over to my friend then. Money now! Son of a bitch. Come on, cop it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. Get robbed, mister. Give me everything you got. Gonna need all your money, my friend. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. You should lose on both. What is it? You alright? Build the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. <laughs> Double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Hosh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. We'll take that. Jesus, how long does it take? Some decent stuff. Come on, we should get out of here. All right, we should probably be going. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fine. Hush, Smith, get ready. You can't come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberty. Eh? There's a few more of them torn enough. <laughs> Big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Last day. Shit, we got more on the left. More coming ah. through the trees, you see him? Just riding in! Ah! That's how you want to do it? Stop! 
Let's go. Stay with me. Yep. That was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big tank. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Send? Excuse me? Because if they did, they can get lost. <laughs> I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laugh death, boulder dash. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you quite certain you're not a spy? A spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What theories? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere... Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Is Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <coughs> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Actually, I think I found some. Uh, here. Excellent. I will go and investigate. And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir.
pretty well out of that train job, but the law showed up real fast. Too fast? Sure seemed that way to me. But anyway, we made it out. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, then. Hey there. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning. Or a siphon. Here, drink this. Oh, 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 oh. Medicine? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, you saved my life. I owe you. Got that right. I do. Oh. Oh. Now, I, I gotta get out of here. much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? Yeah! Mr. Thomas Downs, you owe me money. Uh, oh no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm. Oh, come here, you maggot! Please, sir, I'm. I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Uh, please, I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm... I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm... I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please. Please, show some compassion. Please. Drows told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? How's that dead looking now? Please, please, no. You borrowed money from my business partner, Harris Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. 
He wants it back. What's not to understand? <coughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Appreciate you stepping in there. Those bastards have been turning the screw on me from day one, saying I gotta pay them protection money. I told them where to stick it, and well, I guess you just saw how that panned out. You watch yourself, all right? What happened to you two? Stay out of Cow, trouble. Like dog. I'll try. You wouldn't give us no guns, Pa. This is the worst idea I've ever had. We're with you on that. Yeah. Yeah.
Hey there, partner. Hey. Hey, it's him. That feller from the other gang. So, you heard anything about any, uh, bounty hunters in these parts? You expect me to know that? Okay, thanks anyway. Bye-bye. You're a chump, partner. I advise you to get respectful. Oh, I forgot to say. Give me all your money. You're gone! Ah! Ah! Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A caller for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie, at least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... but I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please. Arthur, will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Okay, boy. Let's go.
shit. Stay back. This here's a private affair. Let her go. Stay back, I said. You just had to get nosy, didn't you? Get some killing today. <laughs> Please, cut me free. <sighs> Thank the Lord you showed up when you did. All oh, the things he said he'd do to me. It's all right, <laughs> ma'am. It's over now. Morning, mister. I ain't killed Excuse nobody me, in a while. <laughs> they think I'm starting to miss. Poor woman. Just admiring your horse there. Discovery of theology. <laughs> Gentlemen. <clears throat> Shall of safety. Shall of safety. Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir path to truth well I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him Arthur I've chosen a path the boy has chosen a path he's chosen safety what path have you chosen sir I don't know about this nonsense let me speak to the boy that that are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy. Goddamn lunatic. Leave him alone. <clears throat> That's enough, Arthur. Kid, come on. This is crap. You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure, but come home. No, not a chance! Careful!
just using you. Telling you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Yeah. Just stop. Let's talk about this. You pop up out of nowhere? Damn it, we got to do this the hard way. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. For Christ's sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute. This is none of your damn business. Sorry, mister. Come on, Jamie. Your sister's worried about you. What are you going to do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends. If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you. I swear it. What are you talking about? You ain't no killer. You don't know who I am. that gun down I warn you Arthur I'm I'm gonna I don't want to live anymore kid just calm down leave me alone now calm down let's go see your sister Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable... Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's different. Oh, God! And to think that you taught me how to ride. So I was saying, guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. 
apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard, then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and... What was his name? H Hester? Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. Oh, you'll never change. I know that. feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about, or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? <whistles> Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon. Come on. Let's go. So back to what I was talking about. It'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm a workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well... You was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way... We're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. 
All right. Where are we going? Just need to pick up something. Kitchen post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. Uh, I already don't like how this is going. Good morning. Gun store. Yep. Can you, uh, head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. Hello. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Eh, yeah, shouldn't be a problem. If you want to see what we've got, it's all in the catalog here. Back to work, boy. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collecting on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. them over there. The one now. Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hmm? hightail it. They're only branch hands. Just... <sighs> Looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. 
He'll get the message. Woo. That ought to do it. All right. I'm super close. Let's go round him up. Let's go get the straight. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here, there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard can it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. Keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Those are up, boys. There you go. <laughs> What's the problem? Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here. I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. But we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Let's go, boy. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Eighteen percent. 
understand. I thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. <laughs> can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, it never really was. Come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey. Not everything, but in the end, I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, me, Po. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. The old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! What the hell? Vandalin! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning a yarn. When I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I got where I am by letting Why not? Watch you rob from me, Vandalin. You're done. Now get out here now. Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case. Your mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me, nor do I.
And let's get out of here. <laughs> you make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Sure. So, we can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> Alright. I better get out of here. Oh great, Strawberry, Blackwater, and Valentine, now I'm wanted every freaking where now. This is awesome. Look where I'm wanted everywhere at, oh my god. Jesus. A $300, $60, wanted dead or alive, I'm just not allowed around there. I need to get back to camp. You know what? Since Valentine's doing this to us, you know what we're gonna do to Valentine? I'm done with Valentine. What's do this to me? What's going on? I don't even have eight hundred dollars yet, so let's get eight hundred dollars. Only sixty dollars though. Hmm, I could pay that off. Just have Valentine. Valentine option optional again. God, I cannot speak. It's only sixty dollars. It's probably if I didn't shoot that officer, it wouldn't be sixty dollars. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, I thought my bounty went away. So everything was like clear, not red or anything. Is going on over here. Hello again, good to see you again. We're moving along slowly, but less than surely. I got more chance of teaching a pig to sing opera than to turn this pair into carpenters. <laughs> it don't look so bad to me. 
Uh, I asked God for sons, and he sent me donkeys. Ain't that right, boys? <laughs> kind of want to see now, since it's in lockdown mode, and let's go see how it looks. Everything just like closed yeah. off and all that. It's just like a lot of officers around Valentine. Let's go see. Miss you, Valentine. Not really. Guys, a lot, please. Everything's locked. Well, I guess that means I need to go back to Dutch. Now, 100% will never be unwanted in Blackwater. Because Blackwater, we robbed that thing. Like, whew. It's a big robbery. That was a giant robbery, so. Won't be able to come back from that. Let's head back to Dutch and get the heck out of here. You know what, 